Hi guys, it's me Megan Hisham and today I'm talking about love. Of course, it's the week of Valentine's Day, my very favorite holiday, Valentine's Day. I love it. It's all about love. I've done many, many videos, I think every year, about loving yourself and loving Valentine's Day to celebrate love in general to your family, to your life, to your friends. It doesn't have to be just for a romantic partner. So I'm not gonna drag on about that because I have many videos you can watch if you want a little bit of that energy in there. I will link them up all my Valentine's Day. For like four years, I've been doing Valentine's Day videos about how Valentine's Day can be more than just a commercial holiday. It could be more than just a romantic thing. So loving Valentine's Day, because who doesn't want to celebrate love, right? I mean, it's the best. Watch those if you want. But for my video today, I wanted to talk a little bit about loving your life. So I'm still on the love topic. I always am. I wrote a book, Loving Yourself Fit. Love is always what we want to strive for if we want to have an amazing life, I believe. So I woke up today and I thought, let me talk about loving your life. Not loving others, not loving yourself, but loving your life. That's where a lot of love will come from. If you're not loving your life, it's very difficult to love others, to love yourself, and all that. So I wanna just discuss little easy ways to start loving your life a little more. Having more love in your life, loving the things you're doing in life, because sometimes we get wrapped up and we forget what we love, or we don't realize what we love, or we just don't even love doing it anymore for some reason, we're not finding the love. Okay, so, Number one, what do you love? What do you love? It's sometimes an easy question, sometimes a hard question. Sometimes you can rattle off a few things, what you love. When I say what do you love, what comes to mind right away? Think about what you loved when you were a kid. Think about what you loved a few years ago. Think about some things that might have gotten away from you. Think of things you would love to do that you're not doing. What do you love? For me, I love dancing. That comes to mind right away. I love working out in the gym and fitness. I love hockey. Uh, these are the things I love writing. I love coffee. I mean, you can think of things like that too. It doesn't have to be only activities. Write a list of all the things you love and don't edit. Don't edit at the start. Just write that list of like, just everything you love, right? Everything you love doing, everything you love being around, the people you love, write everything you love down in life or that you'd like in your life. What would you love in your life? What do you think you'd love in your life? It might not actually play out that way, but what are you thinking you'd love to do? Like for example, when Jag goes to school, I think I would love to go work on my hockey skills every day. I don't know in reality if I'll love that, but I'm gonna try in September and see. Things like that. So it might not be something you know you love, but something you think you'd love to do. So you can make two lists, what you love and you know you love, and what you think you'd love to be doing. So have those two lists and, and let that kind of marinate. Think about it a little bit. Think about how you can make these things come into your life more. Often people are like, oh, I hate my life. I hate everything I do all day. I don't love anything I do. You're so lucky you get to do things you love. But it's not luck when someone's doing something they love. That is not luck. That was something they did to make that happen. It's just like when people say, oh, you're so lucky you're fit. Oh, you're so lucky, whatever, fill in the blank. It's not luck. I mean, a little bit of life can be luck, but a lot of the times the people doing the things they love are doing them because they put them in their lives. They make a priority. Let me do the things that I'm gonna love. I've pretty much always done the things I loved, right? And, and of course, I don't love everything, every single thing I do in life, obviously. You know me, if you've watched my videos, I don't usually love, I don't even wanna say it because I'm trying to have a better attitude, don't love cooking. But I've made videos and I'm working on it right now to love it. So the things you think you don't love in life, like you could write a list of those. A few things that you have to do every day, all the time, that you think you don't love. Mine would be cooking, for sure. A lot of people hate cleaning, I hate cooking. It's just not fun to me. So then you need to work on those things. So with these lists, look at the things that you do every day that you think you don't love. Some people will put their whole job as the thing they don't love and that sucks. So you need to either get out of that job and start doing something else and it could be in a small way. It might be just like get a side hustle you like. If you're working some nine to five office job that you hate, 
you need to just start working. I'm not saying quit your job and go. I mean, you can do that. That some people do that. But if you don't have the freedom to do that, you need to keep making money, then start a side hustle that could take over, right? At night, you know, if you're into fitness, do some personal training and teach some classes, do some stuff that you can do while you're doing the job that you're not loving. And in the meantime, you gotta find out how to love that job a little bit more. It might not be your ultimate, it might not be where you should be, but you need to figure out a few ways to make it a little more fun or else, I mean, life ends up being what we do every day, right? So if you're not doing something fun or loving what you're doing every day, your life is gonna kinda end up being pretty miserable if you don't have any moment of like, oh my God, this is awesome. And often we do have those moments of, oh my God, this is awesome, and we don't realize it, right? Like, so on my list, I might put something like working out, as awesome. I love working out. I love going to the gym. Sometimes when I work out, I don't realize how much I love it. And I'm just like, oh, I got, I got to do that. Everyone's screaming in the background. I'm trying to get my workout in. I don't realize this is one of the things I love. Like realize it. Some people say spending time with friends and family is something they would love to do more of. Yet when they're with their friends and family, they're staring at their phone or they're not enjoying it to the fullest. So realizing when you're in those moments that you love and actually appreciating that you're doing the thing you love right now. Just people say they love to travel and then they travel and complain, things like that. I mean, not everything's perfect. We can complain, yes, okay. But realizing what you love. Now getting to the love, getting to the love and doing the things you love in life. I wanna talk a little bit about that. So it's all about putting those things in your life. So if you love dancing like me, I love dancing. It doesn't mean I'm gonna get to be dancing all day. Maybe I have a full-time job, I have a family, whatever it is. Maybe I'm not dancing around all day. Maybe one day you will be. Maybe it will be your career. I mean, dancing was my career for years. Um, but I'm not saying you need to be dancing around all day and taking classes eight hours a day or teaching classes eight hours a day. It might not be like that right away. You can work towards it though. You can get a little bit more of that in your life. So don't think you have to be all or nothing. Like, oh, I'm not a dance teacher. I'm not living in a dance studio, so that sucks and I don't get to do what I love. Try and put it in there in little ways, right? Go to a dance class. After your long day at work, make yourself go to that fun dance class that gives you that life. Spend your weekends uh, dancing at home, practicing your moves, whatever it is. And you can say this for anything. I love working out. I'm not finding the time to work out often, but I try and get it in there in little ways. Just squeeze in some squats and some cardio and stuff like that and appreciate when you do it. Think, wow, I'm awesome. I just put that thing I love in my life. You gotta love the things you're doing in life or else your life will end up being miserable and you'll take it out on people and yourself and you won't be loving life. You won't be loving yourself. You won't be loving others. <laughs> so make sure to find the fun or the work you love or the hobby you want. Figure it out. What is it? Sometimes it takes some time to kind of like, what do I want to be doing? Because we get caught up in life, right? We get caught up in life. We're just doing our job, cleaning the house, cooking the food, rushing here, rushing there, and you don't think, wait a sec, what, what do I want to be doing? What do I love doing? What feeds my soul? What will make me feel amazing for the next you know, few days if I do it now? And then try and get that in there in little ways every day, and it will get bigger. The more you do something, the more you'll do something. The more you do something, the more you'll do something. I love thinking about that because often I'm like, oh, what's one workout? You know, I'll go down and do a workout and then I might not find the time to get another workout in for another few days. And that bothers me because I love working out every day. But the more you work out, the more you will work out because it grows. It's like, it's like a disease. It's amazing, a good disease. Uh, it keeps building, it grows. If you work out one day and you work out another day, you're probably gonna work out again and again and again. It, it keeps growing. So if you get into the habit of doing those things you love, 
They'll keep happening. You keep it happening. You gotta be persistent. I mean, life gets busy. We have a lot of commitments. We're all very busy. We're not thinking always about, well, what would I love to be doing right now? But I think we need to start. We need to start thinking about that. I think everyone would be a lot happier. Everyone would be having more fun. Everyone would be more pleasant if they did the things they loved. Figure out what you wanna do, and it might be social things, it might be work things, it, whatever it is, have all categories. Put it on your vision board. Make to-do lists that include those things you love. So my to-do list is often, I fall prey to this for sure, my to-do list is often laundry, cooking, cleaning, errands, bringing people places. I mean, I always have workout and eat clean on my to-do list, but, but it's not always like, you know, listen to your favorite music and dance around to it or, you know, and start scheduling those things in. It might not be that airy fairy. It might be like, start that new business. Maybe you wanna be an entrepreneur. Maybe you wanna have your own business. A lot of us do, right? I don't know, everyone has different thoughts. For me, I have so many. And a lot of people say, you do so much. Oh, you do too much. Like, why are you all over the place with your interests and your jobs and this and that? I do photography, I do dance, I do fitness, I do YouTube, I do hockey. I do, there's so many things I love doing, but I will not stop. I wanna do all the things I love. And I think life is just just an adventure and we should do all the things we love. Why have regrets? Like, oh, I wish I had tried that. I try it all. Sometimes things don't stick. Sometimes I decide, you know, and that's the other thing, figuring out if it's something you really love in your heart or if it's something you feel you should love, right? That's a big one. And I've been through that quite a few times. And maybe you did love it at one point. Maybe that thing you loved, 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 but you grow out of things. We all change. We should change. We shouldn't be the same person that we were when we were 19 or when you were 10. We should change and that's awesome and I embrace that. So if all of a sudden I fall out of love with something, I don't think that's fickle. I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that's moving on and that's awesome to figure out and, and what will replace it? What's the, the thing I really want to be doing right now? Do the things you love is my main thing here and don't worry about the rest of all everything. I mean, obviously you have to think about commitments and jobs and making money and real life stuff, but really putting at the forefront some of the things that you love doing and you want to do. How to make all the things you love in life more a part of your life. Okay, so if you're taking one dance class a week, how can you make that more a part of your life? Can you start working part-time at a dance studio? Can you volunteer at your kid's school to teach some dance? There's so many possibilities. If you love baking, can you start a baking YouTube channel? Can you bake for different bake sales? Start letting it take over your life. The things you love, become a bit obsessed, it, that's the ticket. I'm always obsessed with things. Once I get into something, I'm like, that's it, I'm obsessed. And I do everything to do with that. So just get a little obsessed. I think people don't get obsessed enough sometimes. And then they let it go and they're like, oh, I don't do all the things I love. If you love it, really get into it, get excited about it, get excited about all the things you love and then that will keep the momentum going and you will keep doing things with it. For me, I've just found hockey, like, oh my God, I love hockey, it's so cool. And I've just started doing everything to do with hockey. I'm writing a book about my experiences in hockey. I started an apparel company that's like all hockey themed. Of course, I'm playing hockey. My son's playing hockey, decorating my house with hockey stuff. I'm like, it just becomes me, right? I love it. And same with dance, same with fitness, same with all the things I love. I become obsessed with and I just do everything. I start businesses with them. I have hobbies with them. I do it all. I try and make everyone around me do them. <laughs> just get a little more obsessed with whatever you love, genuinely what you love. What is it? Figure it out, because sometimes it's a little tough to figure out what that is in this busy life. So what do you love? I wanna hear it, guys. I'm excited to hear all your love stories for life. And let me know what like your top things that you love doing, what you love in life in general. What do you love? And what are you gonna appreciate in life more? And what are you gonna learn to love more? For me right now, I'm trying to learn to love cooking healthy. 
And you know, it's going great. I spent all day yesterday cooking and I feel like I'm making progress. Like you can learn to love some things too. I'm not saying you should do that with everything, but some things that you know that are gonna be in your life, like kind of the rest of your life, like cooking, that's gonna be in my life, the rest of my life. And I want it to be, I want to be cooking for me and my family. So if you realize something's gonna be in your life, the rest of your life, Sometimes you gotta figure out a way to make it fun and love it and not be irritated every time you have to do it. Cause then look at your whole life. That's a lot of your life you're spent cooking and not loving it. Same goes for many things. So figure out a way to love the things that you know you have to do, that there's no changing, right? If it's a job, you know you can change that. You know you can become something else. You can, you can be a totally different thing a year from now. So figure it out. Hobbies, you can change. Jobs, you can change. Cooking, you know you're gonna have to be cooking. Well, for me, at least. I know I'm gonna have to be cooking the rest of my life. So I'm trying to figure out how to make that fun and awesome, because it was something I was realizing in my life. I was kind of like, ugh. So what do you love? What are you gonna jumpstart this week for Valentine's Day? Never mind all the other Valentine's Day stuff. I mean, I love it. Don't never mind it. I love Valentine's Day. Celebrate your love with everyone you love, not just romantic partners, your pet, your family, your friends, your environment, your kids, whatever. Celebrate your love, but also this week, try and invigorate your life love, what do you love doing and what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do with this awesome life? It can change, it can be anything you want. Just realize that. So happy Valentine's week guys, with lots of love. I'm signing off. Make sure to share, like and subscribe to this channel if you love this video and we'll talk soon guys. Cheers.